All right, all right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Racha HaKadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. All right, this is the Brother Yeshaya, part of Men of Valor, South Carolina. And this lesson right here is going to be um, based off the elder uh, Kazak out of Mississippi. As you can see on the screen, I shared the video on my um, on my page. Um, almost done with very beautiful uh, video uh, from the elder. He always uh, always has uh, points, solid points that he makes in his videos uh, through the spirit, of course. But you know, hey, the Lord uses us as vessels, so the vessels, you know, uh, deserve a little credit as well. But all credit to y'all about some y'all shop. But anyway, yeah, very insightful points, very uh, wise points, and. Um, this lesson that he did right here is about, uh, as you can see, the title says, you want a new body, but don't take care of the body yet how it gave you now. Okay, and, and that's a very important thing because, you know, um, the scriptures talk about uh, taking care of your body. Okay, the scriptures talk about, you know, it is um, certain commandments, man. You know, uh, we have to be clean. We are clean people. Okay, so that means, you know, um, uh, hygiene. Um, you got to brush your teeth regularly <laughs> uh, uh brush your hair comb your hair maintain your beard wash your beard um put some oil in your beard when you're saying be like these people in the world where these dudes go and um they go and, and, and get all done up uh you know like 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 women pretty much like females and stuff all right no we're not talking about that all right what we're getting at and what um you know what i'm getting at through this uh point is that you know, the Lord has set up basically a lifestyle for us Israelite men, okay? Um, you know, we got to be on our affairs. Uh, we have to take care of our um, our outward body, man. And I forgot, it was one brother. I um, saw his video like, I'll say it was a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago at, at most. But he made a beautiful point. He was like, hey, you're in a different spirit when... You know, you're maintaining your, your, your body to the best of your ability, brushing your teeth regularly, you know, showering and stuff like that. It, it gives you a, a more better and cleaner spirit, okay? You know, it's all spiritual, but, you know, we are in these bodies, so we can't totally totally, totally neglect the flesh, get what I'm saying? But anyway, um, beautiful um, video by the elder, uh, you know, um, it's locked. Yeah, I need all that. So, um, yeah. Um, so without further ado, I have a couple scriptures. A couple have already been, uh, a couple have already been said, but you know, hey, it's all good. Um, let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 30 and 15, health and good, a state of body above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth. So, you know, it, it just helps you better when your body is in shape, when you're in shape, you know, your testosterone as a man is flowing, um, your hormones are regulated, you don't have an overage of estrogen, um, you know, an overabundance of, you know, and you you can feel it when you're uh, eating bad and you're getting all these fats and unsaturated fats and all these uh, toxins in you, you don't feel quite like a man. So, like you. so you know, hey, we got to do everything that we can to combat uh, that feeling, all right, and that makes us more available to the ministry once when we, uh, you know, take care of, you know, this body that we have now to the best of our ability. Uh, 16, there is no riches above a sound body. Um, hold on. There is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart. So, hey, once your body is in shape, you know what I'm saying, your mind is somewhat clear. I ain't going to say all the way clear, man, um, but, you know, you're still going to have them thoughts, but you'll be more... Um, more, um, how do you say, uh, ready um, to, and, and more in the, in, in the mode, in my state of, of combating them demons, man. You know I mean? You're just not sitting there feeling like a lazy uh, sack of shit, you know? Because um, that's when, uh, that's when um, Satan will creep in, man. Um, let's see. I think it's 25. Yep, a cheerful and a good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. So you got to um, watch what you put in your system. Uh, you can't just be eating junk food all the time. And I'm talking first and foremost to myself, and I try to eat, you know, somewhat healthy. I ain't saying I'm the best, but I try, you know. 
I don't eat fast food like that. I, I don't eat Taco Bell. I don't eat McDonald's. I don't even I wouldn't even drink a, a drink from McDonald's, man. <laughs> um, you know, for to the best of your ability, man. Okay? And you can see the results and it makes you uh more available at, at, for your how about shim how shot to uh to, to, to use you. Cause when you you're full of toxins and shit, man, the Lord um can't use your vessel like that. But when to the best of your ability, you know, you you're clean. Um, you know, the Lord can uh the, the Lord can do a lot of things. And fasting is very important. All right? Some of the prophets got amazing visions from fasting. You know? And, hey, that's like putting yourself on the level of an angel. You're not eating or drinking. You know? Intermediate fasting is good as well. Proverbs 23 and 21. For the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty, and, dr and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. So, if you're, you know, a uh, lazy, a drunkard, or a glutton, okay, it's gonna show because um, you know you're not gonna have the, uh, the 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 drive to work. If you do, you're gonna be shitty at your job. You're not gonna um, make it most days, some days, cause hangovers and shit like that, or just cause you don't feel like it. You know, and you're not gonna be the best version of you if you were to you know uh, take care of yourself to the best of your ability. First and foremost, pray to the Lord. All right, Proverbs twenty three and twenty one again. Poverty and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. All right. First Timothy four and eight for bodily exercise profit of little, but godliness and profitable is profitable unto all things, having a promise of the life that is now and of that which is to come. That's right. So we are basically we're running a test run over here. All right. This is not the kingdom. We know that, but the kingdom is going to be on earth. So right now we're getting into the mode. We're getting into uh, following the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. Um, getting back to our heritage. Getting back to our customs. Okay, and that's a a glimpse of what's to come, which is the kingdom, all right? And this is the last one, and then want to make it too long, Proverbs 6 and 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Okay, it says, keep the commandments and you shall receive life, okay? The commandments are life, all right? We have certain commandments, uh, our dietary, what to put in our body, how much to eat, um, when to eat, uh, you know, we're not supposed to eat past a certain time for certain, you know, certain people can't help it because, you know, Brothers work overnight shifts and everything like that, but your body is in a rest mode and a repair mode when you sleep. So when it has food in your system, it takes away from the healing properties because it has to concentrate on digestion of that food. So, you know, just a quick lesson, Lord willing, is edifying, giving our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechah HaKwadash, double honors, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. And um, until next time, Shalom.